What's up everyone? I was gifted this 28 inch by 36 inch mirror to review. I'm going to be installing it and testing it out. Now to install it, you do need to use these brackets that it does come with. Uh, it comes with two, depending on how you are going to install it, whether it be vertical or horizontal. In my case, I'm going to be installing it vertically. Here's what the back looks like. It has these things right here. And basically you're gonna install this on the wall and then it's going to sit underneath the part right here. Since I'm installing it vertically, I'm going to be using the smaller one and this will connect into the wall just like that. And then it'll sit up in there like that. So once it's installed, you'll also be able to slide the mirror left and right. It does have this indent right here for the cord and for the plug. I'm going to be installing it with this recessed outlet that I bought. It does not come with this. And this is gonna go inside the receptacle box once that's installed. Make sure you have some wiring as well. And we'll go over the install process and show you how that is done. You can install this a couple different ways. I'm going to be installing it with this plug. I'm gonna add this plug to the end of it and plug it into the outlet that I'll be adding. You can also hardwire this in directly into the wiring as well. I prefer the other method but that is another method you can do as well. There is a neutral, hot, and a ground wire on this, as long as it's plugged into a 110 volt outlet or 110 volt wiring, you are good to go. I began by removing the old mirror. Then I made markings on where the mirror is going to be between the light fixture and the top of the backsplash. I just wanted to make sure that it was gonna be evenly placed and it would fit. Then I removed the light fixture, then removed the mounting plate, then I removed the receptacle box. Next, I opened up the plug so that I can add the wiring to it. Here is what it looks like inside. It's just three screws where you screw the neutral, hot, and the ground. Once it's all done, you're good to go. All you have to do is plug it into the outlet. Next, I measured where the middle of the mirror was and made a marking on the wall so I knew where to put the outlet. I wanted the outlet to be right behind the middle of the mirror where the most room would be for the plug. Next, I cut a hole for the receptacle box. Then I used steel fishing tape to pull the Romex wiring up through the wall. Next, I added the receptacle box. Then I tightened down the screws on the recessed outlet and reinstalled the light fixture. Then I took some measurements on where the bracket is going to sit. It was about two and a half inches from the top and then I made markings where the holes are on the bracket. These are gonna be the holes that I drill into and I will be adding the anchors into these two holes on the sides. The middle hole was right on top of the stud so I didn't need to add an anchor there. Then I added the screws into the anchors and one into the middle. Then I got the mirror and plugged it into the outlet that we installed and hug it up on the bracket and it fit perfectly. You can move it left or right if it's not perfectly centered. I finished installing the mirror. Uh, it came out really nice. The way I have it installed is that when these lights come on at the top, so does the mirror. It's hooked up to the same circuit. So I'm gonna turn it on now. And there we go. It looks really nice, nice and bright. You have three buttons right here. They're basically like a touch screen and you barely even have to touch it to turn it on and off. Right here, you have the backlight. And then the middle button is the light that goes around the side here. You turn that on and off. And then you have the anti-fog option to turn that on and off. If you want to change the brightness, just hold down the button. And then the same with the light on the front. And then just touch it to turn it off. Really cool. One thing that I would like to test is this anti-fog. What I'm gonna do is I'm gonna bring in the other mirror and turn on my shower, turn on the hot water, and see if it actually works. But both mirrors, I brought the old one in so that we could see um, how the anti-fog works. You will be able to see this one fog up, and hopefully this one does not. This one always fogged up on me every single time I take a shower, and I'm hoping that this one does what it's supposed to. So let's find out. All right, so I have the shower running. It's been running for about almost 10 minutes now. 
It's very steamy in here. And as you can see, the anti-fog is working. It looks like the anti-fog only works in this area right here, which is actually fine. That's all you really need. I can see myself very clearly. And as you can see, the old mirror, super fogged up. You can't see anything. But this, this is really cool. Look how clear that is. I haven't even wiped it, touched it, or anything other than to turn it on at the bottom. This thing works. Really cool. If you are looking for a mirror for your bathroom that is anti-fog and has lights, check this one out.